Once you have your patient chart open, you're gonna go over to the Acquire X-rays button, click on that. This is gonna go ahead and open up your DEXA suite and load your COM files. This could take a little while depending on how many of those you have in your file. Go ahead and click out of this cancel. We're gonna go up to this top left-hand side to the pan man, and we're gonna click here. Once we click, we're gonna go up to the top right-hand side and click on the acquire x-rays button. At this screen, we're gonna click on the drop-down and press the Plan Mecca Twain source and start. Press on the panoramic key once and wait for the small dotted line to appear around the key. Once you have this screen waiting for ready, you're ready to grab your patient and get them placed into the pan machine. Once you grab your patient, you're gonna ask them to remove any glasses, hats, metal that may appear in the x-ray as a ghost image. Please remove your hat. You can place it on the counter. Thank you. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put the lead apron on our patient. When we take the Panorax, we are not gonna use the thyroid collar. So we are going to drape the apron right across the patient's shoulders and step forward for me and turn. When we secure the apron, we're gonna be using the apron extender here to leave an opening, a V-shaped opening in the back. Once we have this V-shaped opening, we're gonna ask the patient to step into the machine. Hang tight for just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the machine. And I'm gonna to describe to the patient, to the best of my abilities, what I'd like for them to do. Once you have your patient in the PAM machine, I like to have my bite stick a lot higher than the chin rest so the patient doesn't feel claustrophobic coming in and doesn't hit his chin on the, on the chin rest. So go ahead and step forward for me. Now on this stick, there's a notch on the top and a notch on the bottom. What I'd like for you to do is bite your two front teeth onto that notch. Go ahead and do that. Beautiful. Now you're gonna notice that there's a little gap between the chin rest and his chin. And what we're going to do is we're going to press the up arrow on our keypad and we're going to use the bite stick and slide the bite stick down while we raise the pan up. And that's gonna help keep his chin nice and parallel to the ground. Once we have that situated, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the patient to hold the hand rest. I like to guide their hands over to the hand rest and have them punch, good. Next thing we're gonna do is have the patient put his feet together, please. Good. When they put their feet together, sometimes this adds a little height, so you wanna make sure and check that the chin is still parallel with the floor. The last thing we're going to do is we're gonna have the patient step forward a few inches. Go ahead and step forward until you hit my foot. What we're looking for here is the shoulders to be in line with the hips, to be in line with the knees, in line with the ankles, and his body slanted forward so the head of our instrument can get all the way around his shoulders with no issues. This is the proper body positioning for the Panorex X-ray. Once you have the proper body positioning, now you're ready to line your lasers up. The first laser we are gonna focus on is the midline laser. I'm going to move him slightly. There. Once you have him where you want, you're gonna go ahead and press this button here at the top. And this indicates that we're gonna be closing the temporal headrests. The temporal headrest will automatically close around the patient's temple. If you notice that your midline was slightly affected, you can carefully inch the patient over until you're divided appropriately. The next laser we're gonna look at is the ala and the tragus. When we're adjusting this laser, it can be found on the Panorex's left-hand side. 
we are going to roll this laser up so that it hits the middle of the tragus and the middle of the ala, or as close as possible. And then the last laser we are going to look at is the canine laser. When we're looking at this, it's best to ask the patient to please smile with their teeth. When they smile, we're looking for the central beam of this laser to cut directly through the middle of this canine tooth here. Smile wide. I'm going to adjust my laser back slightly and that adjustment can be found under the machine here with this roller. Once all three of my lasers have been adjusted, we are ready to check the exposure requirements for our x-ray. He is a standard patient, so we are going to select 66 kilovolts with 9MA and press ready. Once this is blinking ready, it's a great time to administer the instructions that you need to give your patient. What I'm gonna have you do is swallow for me. Place the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and go ahead and keep your lips closed around that bite stick. This tube head is going to rotate around your head for about 10 seconds. Just do your best to try to stay nice and still for me. When your computer goes from waiting to ready to waiting for exposure, you're ready to expose your Panorax. At this point, your button will also be solid green. You're gonna press and hold the button for the entire length of the exposure and periodically check on your patient to make sure everything looks okay. After exposure and after the beeping stops, release the button and press okay. Once you press OK, the Panorex is going to upload into the patient chart. The temporal headrests are automatically going to open and you're going to ask the patient to please step back. Good. Watch your head there and come forward. And we're going to go ahead and remove this for you. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and get back to our unit. All right, that's it.